פעם. גנפורם הליק פנחסו. גנפורם הליק רבה. כבר אתה יגיד מבק מייסון. גנפורם דאי פנחסו. גנפורם הוא פרשס רבה. This goes on for a long time. Then the monkey says, okay, Pinchas, are you ready now? Get me Shlachmon as fast. Pinchas is a new person. You know the way he operates? Friday afternoon, he stands by the door of the grocery store. He's afraid to open his mouth, afraid to lift up his eyes. And people pass by, this one gives them a herring, this one gives them a leftover color. He walks into the grocery store, And he yells, good poem! <laughs> hey, Pinchasun, what's going on there? Pinchasun says, it's poem. I have to give shlachmonis to my rabbi. I need the longest bottle of wine and the biggest piece of cake. And I promise I'll pay after poem. And who would doubt Pinchasun? They gave it to him gladly. Ah, oh, give out. He has wine and cake, and he runs back to the Besmedrish. And the Holy Margit is standing by the door and yelling from afar, Good, good poem, Pinchasul! Good poem, Heilige Rebbe. And he gives the gift to the Holy Margit, to the Holy Preacher of Kozhnitz. And the Kozhnitz of Margit says, Pinchasul, believe me, I know how much it took out of you. I want to give you Shlach Monos also, I want to give you back a gift. I bless you with the strength of the poem all your life. Give out. Pinchasul walks out. It's not the same Pinchasul anymore. He thinks, give out, it's poem today. My children have nothing to eat, it's not fair. Goes right back to the grocery store. And he says, good poem! Hey, Pinchasul, you are our best customer. The only one who has an American Express card, why right? charging it directly to God? So, he says, I have a wife and seven children. We have nothing to eat. Please give me a big feast. I promise I'll pay back. They bring the biggest box, herring, colors, everything. He barely can carry it. He passes by a boutique and he thinks my wife is so beautiful. It's poem today. I never bought her a new dress. It's time. He walks into the boutique. In his ass, good poem! Hey, Pinrasl, what can we do for you? He said, I want you to know, my wife is so beautiful. But she's ashamed to walk on the street. Can you please give me the most beautiful dress for her? I will pay after poem. No problem. Give us her size. Give us her color. He passes by a store, children's wear, and he thinks, Come out, my children. It's poem. He says, Good poem. I have seven children. No problem. I'm sure Mordrenesta came to help him carry it, because how could little Pinchasel, who has never eaten in his life, carry so much? He yeah, need harmony. You know, my beautiful friend Pinchasol, when he comes home, he never says good morning to his children. He's ashamed to look them in the eye because he didn't bring them anything to eat. For the first time, for the first time, Pinchasol walked in and he yelled, good poor, good poor, my most precious children. Can't you see their eyes glowing? Oh, so proud of my father. They come running. Pinchasul says, look what I brought for you. So much food and so many dresses. He calls his wife and he says, my most beautiful, most precious wife, I brought you a new dress and so much food. And he says to them, I have to talk to you very serious. I want you to know, all of you give me harmony. I want you to know, I want you to know. 
I'm so sorry to admit it. I was not much of a father. I was not much of a husband. But today is Purim, and the Holy Heaven and Korean Samaki blessed me with the strength of Purim. I swear to you, I swear to you, by the holiness of Purim. From now on, I'll be a good father. From now on, I will be a good husband. But first of all, children, let me teach you how to say good poem. And he asked good poem, my sweetest children. And the children gave a good poem, most precious father. Good poem, my holiest children. Good poem, this a helige Tate. This goes on all day. And the courageous of Margaret is sitting by the feast. Suddenly he says, shh. voice in heaven. The master of the world says, angels, be quiet. I want to hear how Pinchas is teaching his children how to say good poem. This is a classic story. The next day Pinchas walked into the witch's man Kozhnitz and he says, the holy master blessed me with the strength of poem. I want you to give me a loan of 10,000 rubles. I promise I'll give it back in four weeks. And he did. This is classic and historic. Pinchas became one of the richest Jews in Poland. And if some of you know, 200 years ago, the peasants made an uprising and said, enough, you know, the Russian Tsar has to put it on somebody. So he says to the peasants, you know why you are so poor? Because the Jews take away your money. And instead of fighting the government, they decided to kill the Jews. They had assembled outside Kozhnitz, thousands of peasants, and they were ready to kill all the Jews in Poland. There was only one person who had enough strength, poem digger strength, to walk in right to the peasants and say, I want to speak to your leader. Pinchosl, how many is not to be believed? Without weapons, thousands of peasants who want to kill every Jew, he walked in and he says, I have to speak to your leader. He spoke to him and he convinced him. We Jews and you peasants, we have the same trouble. We have the same trouble. We are your only friends and you are our only friends. And because of Pinchasl, the history of the Polish Jews changed completely. So I want you to know, friends, on Yom Kippur, God is cleaning me, so I'm telling God all my mistakes. But you know what on Purim? God gives me so much self-confidence. God gives me so much strength. So much strength. So much strength. You know what the Amalek does to you? Amalek takes away all your self-confidence. Amalek says to you, you'll never make it. You know what the Molech says to us Jews? Forget it. You'll never make it in Israel. Sooner or later it will fall apart. How many young people have I seen trying to get their act together to be better Jews, better human beings? How many husbands and wives try to make it? Come some Molech, hey. You won't make it. Poor me wiping the side. You know what that children need the most? Not so much Yom Kippur as telling them what they do wrong. They need us parents to teach them how to say good poem. And everybody knows the last words of the Megillah are and poem. We make peace with our children again. And maybe Yom Kippur we ask God for forgiveness. And poem. I swear to my children. I don't think I was such a good father till now, but I swear to you, by the holiness of Purim, from now on, from now on, all of us, we be better husbands, better wives, better mothers, better fathers. They die, they die.
shame before your kids to dance and you're sitting there like old Lodge. Let's go. 